Douglas Cooling and Heating, serving the Birmingham area for 38 years, 988-3706. That's Douglas. This is the Weather Extreme video for Sunday, February the 6th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters, and we certainly have an interesting week ahead of us. Let's get right to the SkyCam imagery this morning. There's a look over Red Mountain as we look out from the Daniel Building in downtown Birmingham, and we have a clear sky. Skies won't stay clear all day, unfortunately. Clear sky visible at Demopolis, too, as uh, the sky and the trees are reflected in a rather full river down there with all the precipitation that we've had. On our surface map this morning, the next weather system is just off to the west-northwest of us and providing some weather for Texas and Oklahoma. That system will be migrating our way and giving us a pretty quick shot at some precipitation on Monday. And right now it looks like it'll be mostly rain with a small window of opportunity for a little wintry mix. In the upper atmosphere, uh, with the 500 millibar pattern overlaid on the water vapor imagery, you can see that we're under a bit of a dry slot right now, that darker uh, shade in there. But uh, we certainly have a deep trough that's headed our way, and that deep trough keeping us in the deep freeze. And then another one after that. And, of course, the deep freeze, we're still pretty chilly across the country with a lot of below freezing values this morning. And it is definitely below freezing across central Alabama with temperatures relatively uniform, noticing that uh, they range from about uh, 24 to 27 degrees uh, all the way from Montgomery and even parts of south Alabama all the way to north Alabama. So a rather uniform temperature gradient or lack of gradient across the whole uh, area of uh, northern two-thirds of Alabama. QPF-wise, we're not expecting a lot of precipitation. Most of the precipitation on Monday will be fairly light, and then uh, a lot of the precipitation on Thursday is going to be in the form of snow, and that should be also relatively uh, light in terms of uh, the amounts. All right, the 06C GFS model run in we're going to stick primarily with the GFS, but I got a couple other charts to throw in just to add to our information. Uh, high pressure over the area will be dry today and a very mild day as we get up into uh, the lower and mid 50s for across the area. And that will be about temperatures where we would expect to be this time of year. Here comes our pretty sharp trough as it begins to uh, sh uh, sharpen up just a little bit and a very strong trough coming on Monday. Uh, that should increase our rain chances and uh, also uh, bring some chillier air back after a very mild day today. Now let's take a look at uh, the uh, upper air run and see this is uh, the, the projected run and this is for 18Z on Monday, and this is why it looks like it's going to be primarily rain, is that you can see below about 800 millibars, which is roughly about 6,000 feet or so, that you can see that it's uh, very uh, warm, so it's above freezing, so I don't think we're going to see much. Uh, at the very end of the precipitation, we might have a small window, an hour or, or two, where we might see a possibility of some snow flurries. All right, the trough heads on out. The short wave heads on out very quickly. We get into a bit of a zonal flow on Tuesday, so we are actually will dry out and stay uh, uh, relatively cool on Tuesday. All right, here comes the next short wave coming through that long wave trough position over the eastern two-thirds of the country, and uh, that will be creating some mischief for us as we see a pretty substantial winter storm for parts of Oklahoma and Texas as that heads our way. Let's take an intermediate time here, and there is uh, the intermediate time, and this is at midnight Thursday night. Precipitation has begun. You can see the 540 line that uh, runs across uh, just to the north of Birmingham. So it looks like there might be a small window for precipitation to be liquid, but it could change over. And if we look at the 850 and zoom in on this, you can see that uh, the zero degree line is well down uh, into central Alabama, actually in the vicinity of Clanton. And then let's take a look at a couple of uh, other things very quickly. Here is a look at <clears throat> the sounding, and this is... Uh, at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, and you can see that it looks like we'll uh, probably have a little bit of uh, opportunity for some rain to start with, but that changes over pretty quick, and it and we're right on the cusp there of a primarily snow sounding. Now the the temperature is just above zero, but uh, that 
uh, remember, we're still talking a number. We're, we're four and a half days out here, so I'm not too sure that that is, uh, is completely right at uh, the moment. But we'll certainly be watching that. I think it's going to be primarily snow. And then finally, one, uh, one last quick graphic just to uh, give you an idea. The GFS is not as aggressive as uh, the European is on the snow situation. So there's a look at the situation, and that's uh, the European is much more aggressive with the uh, 540 line further to the south. This is around midnight on um, uh, Wednesday night, Thursday morning. So it looks like the European is a little more aggressive, and the European's been doing a relatively good job with everything. All right, let's get back to the regular forecast, and this is midday on Thursday, and you can see the precipitation ending as uh, we get into a snow shower, snow flurry kind of situation. So it looks like Thursday is going to be an interesting day. Uh, the major trough Friday is still uh, to our uh, or over the, the eastern half of the country, and so that keeps us dry but chilly. You can see the 540 line running through the southeastern U.S. On Saturday, uh, we're still into the long wave trough position, but the, not, the amplitude's not quite there, and the amplitude's still not quite there as uh, we stay cool but not extremely cold for Saturday and Sunday a week from today, but we will be uh, dry for the weekend. All right, going out further into voodoo country, and this is uh, much further out there. This is around Thursday the 17th. You can see we've got a very substantial ridge, and the GFS being consistent from yesterday to today anyway with a ridge around the 16th, 17th. So it looks like some warmer weather uh, ahead of us as we get into the middle part of February. And then uh, a little bit of a ridge, but uh, you can see that the main storm track a little further to the north by the 21st. And again, the GFS has been consistent with that for the last couple of days. Well, thanks for tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to see uh, you back tomorrow morning when James Spann will be back in the saddle with uh, an update on the upcoming winter weather situation. In the meantime, I hope that you have a great Sunday. Enjoy this day. Make it a great day and Godspeed. Each day there are new stories to tell about the people who live here and the place we call home. All of the faces that I see All of the places close to me They're all part of all the best things about home Sharing your stories on ABC 3340, Alabama's News Leader.